This video will be the first in a series of videos on rate and kinetics. So this first video will be an introduction to rates. Now defining rate, there are two ways you're able to define a reaction rate. Right, you can either define it as a measure in the decrease in concentration of a reactant or a measure in the increase in concentration of a product with time, right? Both of these with time. Because when a reaction takes place, you lose reactant as you gain product. So that's the reason you can measure reaction rate with either of the two. Now taking this qualitative definition into a quantitative equation for rate, using the generic reaction AA plus BB yields CC plus DD, you would get the following equation. So your rate is equal to negative 1 over A times the concentration, the change in concentration of A with time. That's equal to negative 1 over B times the change in concentration of B over time, which is equal to 1 over C times the change in concentration of C over time, and then 1 over D times the change in concentration of D over time. Now the lowercase letters are the stoichiometric coefficients of the reaction equation. So you know the 1, the 2 that you would see in front of your compound, and then A, B, C, D, uppercase, are the reactants and the products in the reaction. So notice a couple things with this equation. You have a negative 1 over A and a negative 1 over B, but then it's positive for 1 over C and for 1 over D. The negative is because you're losing reactant. And when you're losing reactant, you have to have a negative change in that concentration. So that's where that negative sign comes in. Now why the 1 overs here? So we have to put the 1 over here because the change in the concentration of reactant or product, they have to be you know, equivalent to each other. You can't, have, you can't gain a bunch of product without losing much reactant. Right? It doesn't work that way because the reactants are transformed into products. So with the 1 over A and 1 over B, 1 over C, 1 over D, what they're doing is, let's say I have one molecule of A, one molecule of B, but then two of C and then one of D. When I have 1 over 2 times a change in concentration of C, that 1 over 2 is because if compound C is going to be formed at the same rate that compounds A and B are lost, which is what this equation is saying, right? All of these rates are equal to each other. The change in concentration of C has to be double what the loss of A or B is, because there's two molecules of C for every one molecule of B. So overall, the rate of change is the same, but C, in terms of the change in concentration, needs to be double the loss of A or B or the gain of D. And again, that's because there's two moles of C for every one mole of A, B, or D. And that's what this reaction equation, and then the equation for the rate, 
that is what it is telling you. So the next video, I'm going to go more into rate laws and the different orders of reactions that you can have with respect to rate.